welcome back if you're new here welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i customize my macbook and just a lot of tips and tricks that i have learned i've had my macbook for almost a month now and i really really love it and i've learned a bunch of different tricks and i wanted to share them with you guys so the first thing i'm going to be showing you guys is how i make my beautiful screensavers and then i am going to show you guys how i customize my folder icons how i do hot corners how to change the appearance accent colors i'm going to show you guys how to do the analog clock screen lock clock screen clock lock screen um and then i'm going to show you guys how to do sticky notes hide and share your dock how to declutter your dock and then lastly i'm going to be showing you guys how i design my screensavers and if there's any of the screensavers that you guys like um, i will also be showing you guys how to download those for yourself so without further ado let's get into the video Okay, so like I said, the first thing I'm going to be showing you guys is how to change this screensaver and also all of my screensavers that I've designed. So what you're going to do to change your screensavers is you're going to go right down here to System Preference Preferences and then you are going to go over to Desktop and Screensaver and right here you're going to choose your screensavers. I have all of mine in this cute little file and I will show you guys also how to make those file icons but all you do is you select your screensaver that you want and you can push stretch to fill screen is what I keep mine at and you just drag it right over there and it's that simple and I have a bunch of different um, screensavers and this is like my dream board or like just different types of goals that I have right here. This is my camera and I really love sweaters and this is my laptop. So I have that one. This is kind of my bedroom inspo because I'm thinking about redoing my bedroom. And so that's kind of like the inspiration and then coffee because I mean it's it's mine so <laughs> that just makes sense and then I really like these this says sure my life isn't perfect but my red hair is and then I would like to get to 100,000 subscribers eventually so that's what that is and then this just kind of fit here and then I don't know if I mentioned these but I just liked those sunglasses <laughs> and these were just two things that I had saved on Pinterest and so I put those there then I have a couple more and this one right here, um, the Me, Myself, and Coffee, I actually, this was my very first one that I ever had. And I downloaded this template, um, just the flowers and the hand and the cup part from juliakchris.com and she's got a bunch of awesome designs she's also a youtuber and i added this with enough coffee anything is possible and i also added my name with this little circle on the cup the third one that i have is this my one and only coffee and this is pretty self-explanatory i mean it's just anything to do with coffee so the fourth one that i have is the one that i currently have and i just made this the other day and i've named this one summer love and i love this because i just love the colors of it this is starbucks which i go there all the time and i've been really loving rainbows lately i just think they're super cute so i have those rainbows and then the ice cream and the lemonade they just kind of fit with summer. I have thought this beach was really pretty for quite a while. I've had it saved on my Pinterest. And then this I thought was really cute, but I realized after I made it that this little license plate here is Florida, which I live in Florida, so that's pretty cool. And this is the one I have right now and I love it. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is these cute little folder icons that I have and what they look like normally is this annoying little blue folder and I've always hated that and so I never kept everything organized I would just put one of these somewhere in the corner where you couldn't see it maybe down here 
and drag everything that was in my desktop into this because I didn't like that. But I found out that you can customize these, which is super cool. So how I got these particular coffee cups is I went to juliakchris.com and I clicked on design freebies. Then you scroll down to desktop icons and she's got all of these cute little designs and I currently have the coffee with the white fill but if you want these particular ones what you're going to do is you're going to click on the PNG file and then you can't see it because it's white but it is there so you're going to right click you're going to push save image as and I like to put mine to desktop and you're going to push save okay and then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to open it up you're going to push command a and then command c to copy then you're going to open a new folder and you're going to go up here where it says file you're going to push get info and you're going to click on this little blue one not the big one this little one and you're going to push command v to paste and then there you have it you have your own little coffee thing and to name it you just push rename and you can type in whatever you want if you don't really want any of those ones the next thing you can do is you can go to canva and they have a lot of cute little design so you're going to push create a design and you're going to click on instagram post because it's square and it's the easiest one and you're going to go to elements and i like i said have been obsessed with rainbows lately so i like to go down to these organic rainbows and this is my favorite rainbow i use it for everything and you just make it big where it's a good size like it's not going to be awkward that's a pretty good size and you're going to download it but when you download it make sure it the file type is png you're going to click download and then once it's downloaded it should open over here and see it says png it's very important that's a png and you're going to click on this little marker here and you're going to click this little wand here and you're going to highlight that and push delete and then you have just this little rainbow you're going to push command a and command c then you're going to open a new folder click get info once again click the blue folder and push command v to paste and then you have this adorable little rainbow. I really love those. They keep everything so organized and I highly recommend you do that. Okay, so the third thing I'm going to show you guys is hot corners. If you don't know what hot corners are, it's just all of these corners on your screen will activate something and you can set which things you'd like it to do. If you want to do all four corners or just want to do one of those, you're going to go to desktop and screensaver and there's desktop and there's screensaver and you're going to click on to your screensaver and then you're going to click hot corners and there's all of these different things that it can do and like I said I have it start my screensaver and it's really easy and it's nice because if you just want to go see what time it is or whatever you just slide right over there and slide right back and it's just super simple so like i said that's all i have but there is all of those different ones okay so the fourth thing i'm going to show you guys is how to change the appearance which is just making it light or dark modes and that's very easy to do you're just going to go to general and you can make it light or dark you can even put it on auto but i personally like the light. I've always liked dark for phones and um, that's basically it. I thought I would want the dark but I kind of like the light better. I really don't know yet <laughs> what I like exactly but for right now I have it 
on the light, but it's as easy as going between those two things. Okay, so the fifth thing I'm going to show you guys is accent colors. And you're going to go back to general for that one. And it's these little things down here. I like to have mine as gray, but what it is, is you can change it to different colors. And whenever you click or scroll over something, it will be that color. I keep mine at gray. Okay, so the sixth thing I'm going to show you guys is how to get this clock I've mentioned a couple of times. It's actually really simple. All you have to do is go to this website and I will link it down below. And you're going to scroll down and you're going to click download for Mac because that's what I have. And then it should go right up here. And as you can see, it's up there. And you're going to wait for it to verify and attach. And then you're going to click this one up here. And I already have it installed, but you would just push install. But mine's going to give me this option because I have it on here. And once it's installed, what you're going to do you're going to go over to desktop and screensaver and when you're on screensaver you should scroll, be able to scroll right down here and it will have that option and it should be as simple as that okay so the seventh thing i'm going to show you guys is sticky notes and sticky notes are actually really nice i use them occasionally but for the most part i like to write down my to-do list on something like a piece of paper or I will use Canva, but they can be really nice. So what you're going to do to get to them is you're going to go to Launchpad. And you're just going to click right up here where it says search and you're going to type in stickies. And see, I have a note right here and this is kind of old, but I still have it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to file and we're going to open up a new note and you can make it as big as you want and then move it around to wherever you want and you can go right up here and choose the color i like this pink color so we're going to do the pink and you go up here to font and you can show fonts and they have a ton of fonts i just kind of just choose whatever works with what i'm doing so we're going to do American Typewriter, and we're going to type in Video Example, and then you can highlight that text and push Command and the plus button to make it as big, and if you want it smaller, you can push Command and the minus button, and it will just make it as big or as little as you want it. And then you can go down here, push return, and let's say I want to use a different font, so I'm going to choose this one, and I want to in bold, and I'm going to type in whatever I want, and then I will make it smaller and then that's all you have to do and it's really cool okay so the next thing I'm going to be showing you guys how to do is how to hide and show your dock so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to system preferences and you're going to click on dock and you're just going to push this button right here that says automatically hide and show the dock and so your dock will be down so you can see like your full screensaver and then you just slide down here to get it back. So I personally like to show my dock so I always keep it like that. But it's very nice if you do want it gone, you just push that button and that's all you have to do. So the next thing I'm going to show you guys is how to declutter or organize your dock. So I have all of the things that I like down here already, but whenever you first get it, there's a bunch of stuff down here. And all you have to do to get rid of something, like let's say I don't want image capture here, 
you just hold it down you push options and you're going to click remove from dock so the next thing i'm going to be showing you guys is also the last thing i'm going to be showing you guys is how you can download my screensavers if there was any of these that you liked and also how you can design your own screensaver like this so the first thing i want to show you guys is how to get my screensavers that i've made so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to pinterest i have my pinterest link down below and you're gonna go over to boards but you're gonna go to wallpapers and you're going to click on the one you like you can hover over that and click on the link and it brings you to this and i thought that you could just download it from here but you can't i tried it what you're gonna have to do is just screenshot it quick edit i did realize after i filmed this video that you can indeed download my screensavers off of pinterest and it's quite simple all you have to do is go to my pinterest which is linked down below go to boards click wallpapers Choose the wallpaper you want to download. Click this little button here. Push download image. It's gonna download right here and you're gonna click that. Drag this over here. And then if you want to keep everything organized and you have these little files that I showed you guys how to make, you can keep it in there. But all you're gonna do is follow the same steps that I have download it by going to system preferences click on desktop and screensaver and drag it over there and then you are done okay so now I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make my little collage thing here so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to Pinterest and you're also going to open up Canva we're gonna go back to Pinterest and we're gonna type in pink summer aesthetic just because you can find a lot of cute things that way. So we're gonna do this one and you can just drag it right over here. And we're gonna do this one. So maybe we're gonna go for like a cute summer road trip type thing. So we have those two. Um, I use this for this one, that's what this is. Um, you can possibly use this one. This might be cute. everything that we want we're gonna go over to canva and you're gonna push create a design and we're gonna go to desktop wallpaper and so we're gonna start with this picture right up here and I'm gonna put it in the corner here and then maybe we'll do this cute Ferris wheel one We'll put that right next to it. I'll make it a little bigger. Um, we'll do this. And you just kind of arrange them however you like. And so I'm going to go through and do that real quick. <laughs> Bye. 
favorite one I've made yet, but it's pretty cute. I think I like this other summer one better, but I do really like this one. And I'll be saving this to my Pinterest as well if you guys want to use that. But that's it for this video. If you guys would like me to do a part two and if there's anything else that you want to know about MacBooks, make sure to comment down below and let me know. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!